Alright, Kink 77 here again, here to do a review video on the Unnamed ROM, as you can see right there, Unnamed ROM, which is very cool. It takes you to the startup screen. I actually just installed it and just booted up. As you can see, he replaced the Android guy with Unnamed ROM. I haven't seen that before. That's a pretty cool added feature. I like that a lot. Nice, nice work. But anyways, you just click on the Unnamed ROM. I'm going to skip through the account setup so you don't have to watch me do all that. Um, keep hitting next. Should uh, boot me up. So there you have it. This is the unnamed ROM on my Epic 4G Touch. As you can see right away, it includes TouchWiz Launcher as well as an ice cream sandwich background right there. If you do want to get the live wallpaper from Ice Cream Sandwich, get it from the market. Just type ICS wallpaper. It's the Phase Beam wallpaper. It's pretty cool. I usually use that one. But overall, as you can see, it doesn't look like very much theming was done. The reason of that is it's a very clean ROM. It does not really include a theme. He leaves the theming up to the themers. So there you have it up at the top. Let's go ahead and check out the notification bar. You'll see stock gingerbread battery icon right up there, as well as stock signal bar, stock 3G icon. But with the battery icon, as you can see, you got a little battery percentage modification. I do like how small the number is. That's pretty cool. Usually it's bigger and it takes up the whole battery, but I do like how small that number is. It might be hard to see from farther away, but usually if it's close enough to your face, you can see it. But let's go ahead and swipe down. Everything is should be stock. As you can see, stock icons up there, stock notification bar. So no theming done there. I'm going to hit menu, go to settings, scroll down to about phone, oh, blue over scroll glow. And as I said, this is an EK02 based ROM. I do have a how-to video on installing this ROM. Be sure to watch that. I'll link that in the description of the video. But here you go, Android 2.3.6, build number unnamed version 1.0.0. So there it is. EK02 ROM 2.3.6, unnamed ROM. Um, otherwise, as you can see, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but as I've been going through these menus, it has nice transition animations. So it, it has the ice cream sandwich transition animations. As you can see, it kind of flips when I open up apps. Or if I go to the settings menu, it'll flip. So it's very cool. Those are probably one of my favorite transition animations. So that's something nice to have. He did remove a lot of sprint bloatware, which is awesome. I, I don't like having any of that bloatware whatsoever uh, in my ROMs. But that's about it. It does have the hotspot hack. So if you go to uh, Sprint Hotspot right here and turn it on, you can tether to your PC with it. Just the native hotspot app itself. So it's also going to block ads. It has an ad blocking built in, which is very nice. Uh, you have, as I said, the ice cream sandwich transition animations. No carry IQ, which I know nobody wants. So it doesn't have any CIQ, which is awesome. I believe it has a themed... Um, it includes the different keyboards. I'm going to go to input methods. So you got swipe and Android keyboard. Android keyboard is the gingerbread keyboard. So the stock gingerbread keyboard. And you also have swipe, a theme swipe. It's actually themed to look exactly like the Nexus S4G's swipe. So this is probably my favorite theme to a swipe keyboard, which is it's awesome. It's black, darkened. It's got nice light blue to it. Blue, uh, hey there. Blue there. I'm going to send a text message, a fake text message, to a random long numbers and show you guys it is themed. So you got little themed icons right there. As you can see, they're themed a little bit different, so they're pretty cool. Um, but otherwise, oh no, message sent to invalid destination. <laughs> but that's about it. As you can see, stock touch was launcher, very nice. Uh, another awesome feature in the browser. So go to the browser. It takes you to the Google.com. Actually, is the home page. Go to me, go to the menu button. Go to more. Go to settings. I'm just guessing here. Um, it's got to be somewhere here somewhere. So I'm going to look and scroll down. Keep scrolling down. I'm looking for it. And you got right here advanced settings. Select user agent. So select that. And you got options. You can go to use the desktop version, iPhone version, or Android version of the web page. So if I go to desktop and I back out of the settings and I refresh this page, uh, yeah, I'll refresh this page and it should take me to the desktop version of Google.com. We'll see if it can do that. Oh, it does. Awesome. So there you have it. You got the desktop version with the stock browser. And that's a really cool modification. I haven't seen that. I believe he might have done that himself. So. 
Great, great job. And big thanks to GTG465X for doing this ROM for us, getting all this stuff together for us. Did a really nice job. Uh, you also have uh, modded the modded camera app where you can take a picture with the volume up and down buttons to zoom in with it. You just pinch zoom, it zooms in. Um, just like that so you got that modification with the camera but that's about it I mean just overall you can um, just mess around with it you can flash a theme I'll be doing videos on flashing themes so be sure to stay tuned for those it doesn't have the CRT screen off in the animation unless you go back and flash that uh, that zip file that I talked about in my previous how-to video but that's about it um, you also actually you have one more modification when playing a music, when playing music on your phone, you can actually skip songs by holding down the volume key. So when you're playing music, hold down the volume up or volume down button, and it should skip the song. So that's just one more awesome thing. You also, in the reboot menu, you've got reboot, recovery, and download mode. So you got those options as well. But that's about it. Definitely a cool ROM. Everything seems fast. Everything seems snappy. Definitely something to check out for sure. Let me know what you think of it. Leave a comment on the video. I'll be happy to hear from you guys. If you have any problems at all, feel free to ask. Leave a comment as well. Be sure to subscribe, as I said. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus. Links will be in the description of the video. And as always, thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.